In this video, I'm going to walk you through the problem calculating the Ka of a weak acid from pH. So as the title suggests, you're going to be given information about a weak acid solution. You'll be given the formula as well as its concentration, and you're going to be given the pH of the solution, and your goal is to calculate the value of the Ka. It's going to be really helpful if you write a balanced equation for the weak acid reacting with water. And we're going to use that balanced equation to make an ice table. It's really going to help kind of visualize how this problem works. Because this is an acid, um, the problem is telling us it's an acid, we know that that means it's an H plus donor. So I'm going to be removing a hydrogen from the formula of the acid. I'm going to be getting rid, specifically getting rid of this hydrogen right here, taking the charge down by one. And that hydrogen that we removed from the acid is being transferred over to the water molecule. So that's going to convert it to H3O+. Uh, all of these, except for water, um, our aqueous water is liquid. And we're going to make an ice table from this. The original concentration of our acid is 1.1 molar. And then originally, we don't have any products at all. And then we know that some of this acid is going to react. We're just not totally sure how much at this point. And when this comes to equilibrium, we're going to have 1.1 minus x of, of the original acid and x of each one of our products. Also, we're going to make the assumption, because this is a weak acid, that it doesn't dissociate much. So at equilibrium, it's really um, we're just going to assume that the amount is still 1.1. Now, our goal is to figure out the value of Ka. Um, Ka comes from the equilibrium expression, which we get by taking the products and um, dividing that by the reactant. Everything raised to their own stoichiometric coefficients, C3H5O2 minus times H3O plus. Remember, we're leaving out the water in this equilibrium expression because we always leave out pure liquids, HC3H5O2. And again, our goal is to calculate the value of Ka. Now from our equilibrium or from our ice table, these are the values that we have here. We know that at equilibrium, we have x of each one of our products. So x for these guys right here. And we have 1.1 of our reactant HC5, HC3H5O2. So all we need to do is figure out what the value of x is, and then we've got this problem solved. This is where pH is going to come into play. The pH of this solution is 2.41. And if you recall, we can calculate the H3O plus concentration by taking the anti-log 10 to the negative pH, or in this case, 10 to the negative 2.41. The H3O plus concentration is right here in the, in the ice table. It is x. Um, so this number right here is our H3O plus concentration, which is this number right here. So we can use the pH value to actually calculate the numerical value of x. It is 10, time, 10 to the negative 2.41. And because x is equal to x, whatever this works out to be, it's going to be the same number for both of these. So we don't, we don't actually have to, you know, do the math on 10 to the negative 2.41. Our calculator can handle it like this. So this is x, and that means we plug that into our equilibrium expression, 10 to the negative 2.41 squared. I'm just going to write it two times, 10 to the negative 2.41 and then divide that by 1.1, that is going to give us the Ka. Um, Alex is being pretty lenient here. It only wants us to have two significant figures, so that means that it's going to give us quite a bit of wiggle room for getting the answer a little bit, maybe a little bit wrong. 10 to the negative 2.41, and I'm squaring that, and then I'm dividing it by 1.1, and on my calculator, I get, if I've put these numbers in correctly, 1.4 times 10 to the negative 5. There are no units on Ka.